Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to make an end cap for your chair rail molding. An end cap on chair rail, also called a dead end, is a prettier way to end molding at um, a window frame, a door frame, or even where you just want it to end on a wall and you don't want to continue to the next wall. You can see here how the end cap on that white trim looks better. And here's an example where my crown molding um, ends on a wall, so it has an end cap on the end of it. So it doesn't have to just be chair rail, this can be done on other molding. Okay, so you just saw chair rail molding like this on the wall in my house. This is chair rail molding, but this DIY technique will work with your baseboard, your crown molding, whatever you've got to put an end cap on or in a pretty end, I like to call it, on the end of the molding. So in this example, let's say that I've got window here that I want to put a pretty end up against. So I need my 45 to cut across here, so that's the first cut I'm going to make. So now I've got my nice, clean, pretty 45. So this is the profile I want on the face, but when I'm looking down at it, I don't want that gap, of course. So now I need to make the filler for that gap. So I made the cut for this end with the miter saw pointed to the right in this direction. So I'm just going to switch it to the left hand side and make that cut on another piece of board. For the, uh, to get that little tiny end piece, I don't want to put my hands too close to the saw blade to make it dangerous. So I'm going to use a nice long enough piece or a piece that's long enough to make that cut without me getting my fingers close to the saw. Okay, so now I have two pieces that fit perfectly up against each other. And as you can see, I am going to want to make my cut right where that piece meets the wall, or right where this corner is, right where the edge is, so that it doesn't stick too far, or stick back further than this picture frame molding already does, and I don't want to cut it too short. But I'm just going to cut it right where that corner is, and it'll make it perfect. So I'm going back to the zero degree. And before I get my fingers near the trigger, the power, I always like to line up my cut and see if it's going to be perfect. All right, now I have a perfect um, cut that is going to marry or match or end cap this piece here. Um, I do want to say that if this was a smaller piece of molding, this would be a really tiny, easy to break off piece. So just be careful with that. So now you've got a couple options here for attaching this. You could use just regular wood glue and painter's tape to hold it in place while the wood glue dries. Or you could use something like that um, DAP Rapid Fuse wood glue, or um, it's sort of like super glue for woodworking projects. That would be my preference because I like to hurry up and get back to work. Another option is if you have a pin nailer, something with a small gauge nail. You could put in here, but I would be really careful of that, especially with um, the smaller ends. You're going to easily break that. So I say dab rapid fuse or wood glue and your painter's tape and just let it sit there and dry. And then once you're done, you've got the perfect end cap or pretty end for your chair rail molding or any molding. Again, this worked on the crown molding that I showed you earlier in the video. So that's it guys, once this dries, you are ready to attach it to the wall. If you have um, a little bit of unevenness, once this is already glued together, you can always just come in with your sanding block or a little sander and clean up that edge and make it look perfectly clean. All right, good luck with your project.